just listening to the clock go ticking. I am waiting as the time goes by. I think of you with every breath I take. I need to. Greetings, everyone. This is going to be a fun tutorial on how to make a no sew bow tie. So let's get started. Here are the ordinaries you will need in order to complete this project. If you need more time, feel free to press pause and review the list. First, lay the right side of the fabric facing up. Now place the bow tie pattern you can print from the link below right on top. Next, pin the four corners of the bow tie pattern onto the fabric and then place two pins onto the strap pattern. Now all you have to do is cut the outside lines of the pattern until you get two pattern pieces. Next, using your tracing paper and tracing wheel, transfer the lines from the pattern onto your fabric. Repeat this process for the other pattern piece, and you should be able to see the lines on the back of the fabric. Now remove all the pins and place it to the side along with your paper pattern. Flip the bow tie fabric over and then you're just going to add glue along the bottom edge of the fabric. Leave about a half inch gap on each end so that you can handle the fabric without burning yourself from the hot glue. Now fold the fabric up to meet at the center line. In the same manner, add glue along the top edge of the fabric and fold it towards the center line. Now seal the end closed by adding glue along the inner edge of the bow tie. Repeat it for the other end. Now fold it in half and use a pin to mark the center of the fold. Add glue along the outer edge and then just fold it in towards the pin. You can now remove the pin and then add glue to the other end and fold it towards the center. Now we're going to work on the strap fabric. Just flip it over, add glue along the bottom edge and fold it towards the center line. Add glue to the top edge and then fold it towards the center line. So we're going to call this the front of the bow tie and this is the back. Fold the front of the bow tie down in half. We're going to add a little bit of glue right in the center of the fold. Now press it down and allow the glue to secure the fabric. Now if you fold the top and the bottom back, it'll look like a bow tie, but we're not done yet. Next, to get the measurement of the elastic band, Place it around your neck and make sure you have at least a one finger gap. Cut it at this length. Generously add glue to one end of the elastic band and then take the other end, place it on top and secure it. Flip the bow tie towards the back side and then fold the top and the bottom towards the center. In the bottom crease, you're going to add some glue and then you're going to place the elastic band on top of the glue. Make sure you use the end of the elastic band that's glued together. Now flip the bow tie to the front side and then take the strap and center it onto the front. Flip it onto the back side and then make sure the bottom of the strap goes through the elastic band and then up and fold it into the top crease. I just wanna hold you. I just wanna... Add some glue onto the strap so that you can secure it into the top crease. Now take the top strap and fold it into the crease. Generously add glue into the crease 
and then fold it down so that it can be secured. And you are complete. Well, I hope you get inspired to create something extraordinary out of the ordinary. I just want to take this opportunity to thank my students at the Francesca's corporate office for such a fabulous time. You guys were so fun to teach. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I just can't contain it. I want you here forever, right here by